Shoulder. Passive range of motion. Anatomical movement. Shoulder joint passive flexion and extension. Patient is standing or seated with the shoulder adducted by the body midline, forearm in the neutral position. First. Examiner's hand is placed at patient's shoulder providing manual downward pressure on the spine of the scapula. To eliminate any contribution of scapula movement, patient's arm is then taken through full passive range. Next, examiner release the pressure from the spine of the scapula, allowing movements of the entire shoulder complex. Expected findings. Normal range of movement for flexion is 150 to 180 degrees, and for extension is 40 degrees. Anatomical movement. Shoulder joint passive abduction. Patient is standing or seated with the shoulder adducted by the body midline, forearm in the neutral position. First, examiner's hand is placed at patient's shoulder providing manual downward pressure on the spine of the scapula. To eliminate any contribution of scapula movement, patient's arm is then taken through full passive range. Next, examiner releases the pressure from the spine of the scapula allowing movements of the entire shoulder complex. Expected findings. Normal range of motion for abduction is 180 degrees, and for adduction is 30 to 40 degrees. Anatomical movement. Shoulder passive horizontal adduction and abduction. Patient is standing or seated with the elbow flexed 90 degrees, arm in flexion and internal rotation 90 degrees. First. Examiner's hand is placed at patient's scapula providing manual pressure to eliminate any contribution of scapula movement. Patient's arm is then taken to horizontal adduction towards chest. Next, horizontal abduction is performed, where patient's arm is taken away from the chest. Expected findings. Normal range of motion for adduction is 10 to 20 degrees, and for abduction is up to 15 degrees with a stabilized scapula. Anatomical movement. Shoulder joint passive external and internal rotation. Patient is standing or seated with the shoulder adducted to the body midline, elbow at 90 degrees of flexion and forearm in the neutral position. Examiner's hand is placed at patient's shoulder providing manual downward pressure on the spine of the scapula to eliminate any contribution of scapula movement. Patient's arm is then taken through full external rotation range. Next. Patient is asked to put the hand behind his back. Patient's arm is then taken through full passive internal rotation range. Expected findings. Normal range of motion for external rotation is 80 to 90 degrees, and for internal rotation is when the patient is able to reach to the level of T4, T8. Music